composition of unknown compounds. This is essentially a way of representing how much of each element is in a compound as a percentage. So this is going to be based on the law of definite proportions, which basically says that if a compound has a formula, that's what it's going to have and it's not going to change. And so the formula for water is always going to be H2O, whether you find it on Earth or somewhere else in the universe, that is going to be water. Its formula is H2O. Its proportions are always going to be two hydrogens to one oxygen, and that is definite. Because of this, we can then express those proportions as a percentage measured by mass. So we're not looking at the numbers here. We know the numbers are two hydrogens for every one oxygen. But what we want to do is we want to be able to also express that as a mass percentage because hydrogen is less massive than oxygen. Even though there's two of them, it's not going to be most of the water's weight. Most of the water's weight is going to be an oxygen because oxygen is such a bigger molecule, so much bigger than hydrogen is. Um, and so again, percent composition is by mass, not by number. The formula is the number. But once we get a percent composition by mass figured out, we can use that to actually find the formula. We'll do that later. So we can state those proportions as a percent. And the percent by mass of an element um, in a compound, we refer to that as the percent composition. There are two ways that we can go about getting this percent. First one is if you actually have the masses of the elements that go into the sample, so you can decompose the sample and measure the different elements that are in it, or you might know the elements that went into making the compound. If you actually have their masses, then you can use that and just like you would any percentage, divide the, the part portion by the whole and you have it as a percentage. Alternatively, if you do know the formula of the thing you're working with, you can use that as well to find out the mass percentages of each element. So let's try it from the masses first. Um, the percent composition of each element in a compound can be found by dividing the mass of each element by the total mass. Same way we do any per percentage, it's a portion of a whole. So you find each portion, you find out what its mass is, divide it by the mass of the whole, and you're done. So let's try it out with this particular question here. Um, we have 5.600 grams of carbon, 14.92 grams of oxygen, and the sample is going to weigh 20.52 grams. Now we do have the formula here, and not that we need it because we have the mass of the elements that go in. But we'll see with the next example how to actually get it from the formula without the masses. Here we are with the masses though. So essentially all we want to do is take the percent of each Thing that we're looking at so this is for the carbon we're taking the, the mass of it divided by the whole mass and again grams will cancel out in this case whatever the mass is measured in will cancel out as long as you have it on the numerator and the denominator multiply by 100 to express it as a percentage people don't like things less than one so we multiply by 100 and say it as a percentage do the same thing for oxygen and we get our percent composition of this particular substance here. It is 27.29% carbon, 72.71% oxygen. So that's percent composition from masses. We can also get these percentages if we don't have those measured masses, as long as we do have the formula. So if we look at the formula, we could say, okay, that's, that's like uh, one molecule of it. Um, and there's a certain number of atoms of each one. We're going to use molar masses, so we're going to assume we're dealing with a mole of that particular element. So we'll use the molar mass of these things. We'll look at the molar mass, mass of each of the elements, and we'll divide that by the whole thing, the molar mass of the compound, and again, we'll have it as a percentage. So use the molar mass of each element over the molar mass of the whole compound, assuming we have the formula. That will also give us the percent composition. So if we have our molecule here, CO2, and we already know the answer because we did it last time, but let's see if we can get the percent composition from just the formula. If the molar mass of carbon is 12.01 grams per mole, oxygen is about 16 grams per mole. Now there are two of them, right? So in the formula, you need to factor in how many there are because they would both add into the weight. And so 32 grams per mole would be the mass of the oxygen. 12.01 grams per mole would be the mass of the carbon. Then we need to find the molar mass of the whole thing. So 44.01 would be the sum of all of the molar masses. So now we can express how much is carbon, how much is oxygen as a percentage. To do that, you just take the molar mass of the carbon and you divide by the total molar mass. And there's only one carbon in CO2. So we only have one carbon to 
put in our numerator here, and then we divide by the whole molar mass of the molecule. Oxygen, we have two of them, so we've got to multiply, we've got to take into account that there's two of those oxygens, divide by the entire molar mass of the whole thing, we multiply both those by 100 to get them as a percentage, and thankfully we get the same answers as we did before. Um, this time though, we did not need the masses, the masses will work as well if you have them, but if you don't have them, you can find the percent composition from the formula.